Hi, it's Joel Swift from Bigger Bites Bold and Mindset for Success, and today's a really short video to tell you the difference between playing to your strengths and hiding from your weaknesses. They're two very separate things. One of them, I actually think, is a pretty positive strategy, and that is to play to your strengths. Find out what it is that you're good at, what your business is good at, and play to those strengths. Market to those strengths, create products around those strengths, live your life behind those strengths, okay? It stands to reason. However, quite often people tend to hide behind their strengths and they hide from their weaknesses. The truth of the matter is quite often your greatest gains in life and the greatest gains in your business are going to come from looking at those areas of yourself and your business that are the weakest. However, sometimes this can take a lot of bravery to dare to look at them, let alone try and fix them. Quite often, if I find someone that's very, very good, if I find an entrepreneur that's brilliant at marketing, they tend to do tons and tons of marketing. They're really good at it and they enjoy it, which came first. It doesn't matter. It's like a bicycle sometimes. They enjoy it so they get good at it or they're good at it so they enjoy it. And they tend to hide behind their marketing. They do loads and loads and loads of marketing, but maybe they're not doing other aspects of the, the business that really need doing because they, they consider them to be boring or they don't enjoy them or they're not very good at it. Now, of course, you can get an amount of success by keep playing to your strengths. However, you're always going to be held back by those weaknesses. So one of the things that I dare people to do is to look at their own weaknesses. Now, this could be a weakness in your business. It could be a weakness in your business practice. It could be in your systems, your methodologies. It could be a, a weak link in terms of one of your staff members. It could also be a weak link in here. It could be a part of your mindset or your attitude that's the weakest link within you. And sometimes we hide from that. We don't want to look at that. It's uncomfortable. We don't want to work on those things because that's where the hard work is. I'd rather keep doing this stuff here that I'm really enjoying and that I'm good at and that is giving me a pretty good result. But I want you to remember that a chain can only be as strong as its weakest link. So if you've got loads of really strong links and there's a weak link, you can't load that chain up fully the way you'd want to, it's gonna give. If we strengthen that one link up, now our overall chain can bear a much greater load. So it's the same for our own psychology, our own mindset, our own attitude, and for our business and our teams and everything else. So definitely play to your strengths, I think that's a great strategy. However, not to the exclusion of hiding from your weaknesses. Be brave, be bold, look for them, and dare to tackle them and work on them. That's what I do when it's about developing the mindset for success. It's about capitalizing on the stuff that's really working for you, but daring to be brave enough to look at the stuff that's holding us back. If we can strengthen that, then we can almost catapult ourselves forward in terms of our success. So bear that in mind, play to your strengths, but please do not hide from your weaknesses. Until next time, be successful.